good morning students welcome to the video lesson today topic is the pair of linear equations of two variables the graphical method of solving the pair of linear equations this is very important chapter and uh, you may get questions uh, under uh, uh, this uh, visualization and representation for this uh, so i'll uh, show you how you represent uh, a pair of linear equations in a graph and uh, how, what are the conditions when the lines are um, intersecting parallel or uh, dependent see let us see first we'll see what is the standard form of a linear equation what will be the standard form of the linear equation see here see this is a linear equation of uh, two variables why we call two variables because here one is x and one is y so this x y are called the variables for the equation so this is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is the linear equation of two variables see the variables are x and y the constant is c the coefficient of x is a the coefficient of x is a the coefficient of y is b the degree of this linear equation so the degree of this polynomial will be 1 therefore we can call this one as a linear equation and uh, when you represent this equation in a graph you will get a straight line therefore the shape of the graphical representation of this linear equation will be the straight line see let us see what is the relation between the coefficients and nature of the system of the equation nature of the system of the equation means how the equations are whether the equations are intersecting or uh, they are parallel or they are dependent so this all depend upon the coefficients of this pair of linear equations see let us see when you take two equations like here the equation 1 is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 when you take these two equations and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 these are the two equations so when you take the coefficients c a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 there is a relation between this uh, two equations and the nature of this uh, um, alliance will be see here when you divide the coefficient of x here in equation 1 with the coefficient of x in equation 2 here see here a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 when these two are not equal you can say that the pair of linear equations are intersecting so by uh, with this uh, trick you can say that uh, these two lines are intersecting see here one more when uh, a1 by a2 see here in equation 1 the coefficient of x is a1 the coefficient of y is b1 and the constant is c1 in equation 2 the coefficient of x is a2 the coefficient of y is b2 and the constant is c2 so when you divide a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and the c1 by c2 when a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so the lines will be parallel the lines will be parallel see next one when a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 all these are equal then you can say that the uh, lines will be dependent dependent means coincide so one line will come on one more line and uh, i'll show the graphical representation for this equation see i'll show the graphical representation this is the graphical representation see here see here when a1 by a2 what is the value of a1 by a2 it is 1 by 3 and what is the value of b1 by b2 it is 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 
it is 3 by 3 uh, that is equal to a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so the second condition therefore how the line should be the line should be parallel see here are they parallel or not yes there are parallel now i'll change the values here see and i'll see whether the lines are intersecting or coinciding and whatever it may be see here when i change the value in equation 1 when i change the value see here i'll take it as minus 1 see i've changed the value now what happened a1 by a2 value is minus 1 by 3 b1 by b2 value is 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 value is 3 by 3 so a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 and not equal to c1 by c2 therefore how the line should be the line should be intersecting here we get intersecting or not yes they are intersecting they are intersecting at which point see here it is uh, approximately 1 minus 2 yes it is the point they are intersecting at 1 comma minus 2 and this is the solution set for this equation see the x value is 1 and y value is minus 2 when you substitute this equation you will get the rhs therefore this is uh, when you uh, see let us see the third the third condition that is when a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 all are equal how the lines should be when all are equal the lines should be dependent or coincide so you should you you, you should be able to observe only one single line see let us see is it possible or not see I'll change this. So A1 by A2, I have taken 1 by 3. B1 by B2 is 1 by 3. And C, C1 by C2. So I have to change the C1 value. And you should get the C1 value as 1, I think. See, I'll take 1. So C1, OK. This is three. Okay, this one. This one should be one. Okay, see. Yes, absolutely. You can see only single line, isn't it? Where is the another line? Where is the red line? Where it has gone? It is one over another. So you can see only one line, single line. So by this, you can say when the relation between the coefficients and the nature of this pair of equations will be depend upon the coefficients if the coefficients see the ratio between the x coefficients and the ratio between the y coefficients and the ratio between the constant this more dependent on each other so the by the conditions when a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 definitely the lines will intersect again one more time i'll show you see here when i change the a values see i will change see not equal 1 by 2 1 by 3 even though these two are equal then also a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 these two are not equal therefore you'll get the intersection and you can say the intersecting point is 0 comma minus 1 so this is this will be the solution set see one more again i'll change go inside and i should get uh, this parallel now so when i take this one to other side see parallel so these two are equal but c2 parallel see a1 by a2 and b1 by b2 i didn't change but c1 by c2 is 4 by minus 3 so a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 hence what should you should uh, how the lines should be the lines should be parallel we are getting parallel or not 
yes this is the graphical representation and uh, i think everyone understood the graphical representation of this see here this is very important and uh, you may get under a visualization isn't it so this is the topic for today's lesson i think uh, everyone has uh, understood so this is the one more time i'm repeating see when a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 pair of linear equations are will be intersecting and when uh, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 the lines will be parallel and when uh, a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 the lines will be dependent so by this you can easily solve the equations and you can freely solve the um, solution set for the equations see this one thank you thank you ma for listening